quick look at the motherboard. <clears throat> got the chip in. And I got 8 gigs of RAM in so far. RAM looks pretty cool. Uh, sorry about the low lighting in here. It's my office, so. It is what it is. Um, <clears throat> I did buy this little adapter right here. This is to fit my Z Zalman. Um, the one I have in here, the uh, cooler I have in the Antec right now. Um, I was originally going to use that on here, which it does great in my other one, you know. But I wanted a, uh, you know, something bigger and something that could cool a little bit better. So I will use this right now. I'll take the other cooler out of my um, computer and use the adapter since I did buy it. I mean, it was five bucks for the adapter. So I'll use that and see how it cools other than using the stock one, which I just left that in the box. So, um, there's that. And uh, I'm going to keep on plugging away and I'll get back to you. Okay, got the bracket on right there. If you can see that. It's a pretty nice bracket. It's pretty snug. I wish uh, my cooler was here so I could use the, the one I bought, but... Yeah, what can you do? I like this board. I like how the RAM color matches the board. With the tint of red in it, you know, and the PCI slots right here. The USB right here. I definitely like this, the ASUS ROG. Little, little symbol thing right here. It's pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> I, do, I, I noticed I was looking in the book and I saw this feature. This is very nice. This uh, puts out error codes if anything's wrong, so that's cool. Um, gotta love boards with their own start and reset button on there. Um, another button is the go button. Switching part, part um, when you're um, overclocking and stuff. I think this is for um, like you can change profiles and stuff on the fly by pushing it down. I believe that's what it is, but I'll look more into it. And then right in there, let me see if the light. So, right there on an off switch that's for the uh, ROG the Republic of Gamers that's uh, if you wanted to connect it and then it's got a button right here so there's with the light on that's it so far I'm about to um, take my old computer apart and clean this up a little bit with some uh, alcohol or whatever they state I know there's a lot of different ways of doing it but I'll look it up and see what what way that uh that I'm gonna go with. This is a big chip too, compared to the other chips that I've uh, dealt with. This one's huge, just like fat and heavy. So that's what the board looks like. I like it. It's smaller. It's only got two PCI or actually three PCI slots, but um I don't plan on running <coughs> SLI anytime soon. Not right now. Like I said earlier, in uh, 16 months. The board will be gone, probably the video card gone, mm, the chip, I might keep the chip just because, yeah, I probably will keep this, there's no point in spending 300 bucks on the 2600K, so, I'll sell most of this stuff off. Um, Alright, um, I'm going to start taking the computer apart, and uh, I'll probably try to get some footage of it. Alright, thanks. Alright, here we go, start taking apart my old one right here. I'm going to still use these drives, they're LG um, DVD drives that I bought, they're still working great, and I got an external Sony one right here, so this is what the inside looks like, that's the cooler I have right now, which does great on this, I mean the Zalman uh, 9700 NPT I think, I'm not sure, but um, shit, I idle, this thing stays at about 35, 40. And on load, maybe 65, barely, you know. <clears throat> I've got the Patriot, what is that, DDR3 RAM. Um, it's some kind of, I think it's 1600. I'm not really sure, I can't remember without taking it out. My wire management sucks. Got to take all my drives out in here. Um, there's the uh, GeForce 9800 GTX card. And then the power supply that I need for the uh, the new case over there. 
I wish I had one power supply because that would that means I could leave this computer the way it is. I could leave a couple hard drives, one of the DVD drives, and I'd have another one. So for now, I'm going to have to steal that. Uh, what I am going to do is I'm going to take the power supply from the Dell and put it in here. I think it's a 550 watt, which is plenty for this. And then that way I can have this one still going as my backup. This board, I like it because it has uh, Wi-Fi connections on the board. And what I would like to do is I would like to set it up on my um, my living room for my um, for like watching movies and stuff. I'd like to probably put the computer down in the corner or something down there and Wi-Fi off my uh, router. That way I can I can actually log on to my network and then I can retrieve the stuff from here, my main computer. So I got some plans. I need to get a couple more pieces. Waiting for a couple more pieces um, and then always money. So. <laughs> That's that right now, and uh, I'm going to strip this down. Well, I'm not going to strip it down. I'm going to take the cooler, I'm going to take the power supply, and uh, and take the rest of the stuff out. And then that's it. Okay, bye. All right, got to gut it out. Sorry for the poor lighting again. i got to use the light on the camera. My room is just a, a dark room. Oh, anyway, here's a shot of the setup. It's pretty much supposed to be his and her side, which this was my side. That was her side with the center. It's like a T, her printer, my printer, you know, her uh, computer, my computer. But it's not like that anymore. We're just combining it. But um, anyways, there's the power supply. Took it all out, cleaned out all the, um, the dust out of there. It wasn't that bad. I ha used to have cats, so there was some cat hair, but they're gone now. Took the cooler off. This is the board. Still a nice board. Um, and actually, you know what? I'm gonna be posting everything for sale. So if you guys are interested in any of the uh, the stuff I have for sale, you know, hit me up. This is the ASUS um, P5Q3 Deluxe board. And you know, when I sell it, it'll pretty much just be the board and. Maybe the paperwork. I, I know I still have the paperwork, but as far as like some accessory stuff, I'm pretty much going to keep that stuff. So um, there's the chip, the E8500 chip. That's going to be for sale. And then the RAM. The RAM's actually still good, which that's uh, Patriot DDR3 um, 1600. The timings are 99924. So let me see if we can see the um, what it says right there. 1600 uh, it's four gigabytes two by two so that's the RAM which is still good actually I could I could I still use that RAM and I didn't even have to upgrade but it's only four and I'd like a little bit more so that'll be for sale that's four gigs right there um and here's the cooler which I still got to clean off it's a nice cooler the one I'm getting later is gonna be about ten times bigger than this but you know for, for what it cost, I think it was like, actually this was kind of expensive, no, I think about it, I think it was like 50 or 60 bucks, but it did a great job as cooling, I mean, 35 and under at all times, and you know, I never had load on anything, because I never overclocked, so, that's the cooler, and I was wrong on the card, the card is a 9800 GTX Plus, I forgot about the Plus, the Plus does make that difference. Nothing's wrong with the card at all. Runs great. Um, there is some dust in there that I saw, that I can see, you know, from from it just being in use. Um, now I've never taken it apart, so I don't know if I will or not. I know it's just easy taking the screws off in the back and then reapplying the thermal, you know, and putting it back on. Uh, maybe I might do that and put some of that new thermal paste I have, this MX4 stuff. Um, there's just two things wrong with this card. I mean, as far as the looks of it. There's a screw hole right there and right here. Only in the plastic, it was mount. It was used to mount one of these fans underneath, like hanging right here, which cooled something inside. It was when I was first starting this, and you know, but it was only in the plastic. It's just barely in the plastic, but you do see the holes. Um, other than that, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this card. It ran great. I even played a uh, Call of Duty: The Modern Warfare 
on uh, high settings, not the ultra or the very, but the high with 2x um, AA, the anti saline or whatever it's called, and it never crashed with this setup I had right here. So I'll be selling everything. You, if you have one of these and you pair it up with another one, you got a very nice setup right there. You know, for what for the time where this is, um, you know, who knows? Maybe if I don't sell it, you can. Uh, I could get another one. You can get these on eBay for a hundred and something bucks for the plus ones. Now the regular 9800 GTX is a little bit less, but the plus makes a difference. You can go try sly on this, which means you can hook three up, as you can see right there. So that's pretty cool. Um, there's all the hard drives right there. There's the Western Digital Black one. It's a nice drive. I'm glad I bought this before they went up because they're like 250 bucks now compared to what I bought for it. And this thing's brand new. It sat for almost a year under my cupboard in the box. I never even knew I had it. Um, so yeah, that's everything. I'm taking everything apart right now. Um, I'm going to install this. Um, this setup, you know, I'll try after I'm done posting it, seeing what prices are, and go from there.